So first thing I'm going to do is make a new scene. I'm gonna call it Quest. And the tool that will allow us to see what's going on on the Quest on our computer is called Error Receiver. This basically allows us to Chromecast into our computer and have our desktop act as a Chromecast. I'll have a link to everything in the video description. So we're going to get our air receiver and you can see this is currently casting the quest. I'm playing some Pavlov right now. I have the headset on my head. So now we have the video, but now we need both the audio in and the audio out. For the audio out, I'm going to just capture my desktop audio. For the audio in, I'm going to capture the microphone that's on my desk. And this is sensitive enough to pick me up when I'm talking in the living room while I'm in VR. One thing to note is the audio tracks. Make sure to space them out so track one is enabled and track two and three is staggered on separate audio tracks. What this will allow you to do is if you open up VLC or Windows Media Player to go through your footage, it will only play track one, but that'll allow you to find the specific moment you're looking for, as opposed to just playing your mic audio or something. Now for the actual settings, this is what I use. I use a constant bit rate at this value. And for video, I have everything set to 4K. Now, depending on your hardware, you might find a different resolution works better for you. Another thing that is good to change is in your settings, have the output as an MKV. What this will allow you to do is recover in the event of OBS crashing. If you did something like an MP4 and the last 30 seconds of your clip, OBS crashes, that entire clip you recorded will be corrupted and unrecoverable. With MKV, it is still saved. It'll just end at the point that OBS crashed. The problem is to get an MKV into something like Premiere, you need to remux your recording. So OBS has this tool built in that allow you to simply drag and drop your MKV file and it'll output a MP4. The MP4 file can then be imported to Premiere and used like normal. All right, so now you can get your footage into Premiere. One thing that's pretty specific to VR footage is motion. People have their heads bobbing around as they play and as a viewer that can be kind of disorienting. Motion blur adds a significant level of quality to your footage. I'll have a link for the plugin in the description that I use and make sure to enable GPU acceleration. This will add motion blur to your footage and make it look a lot more professional and clean. One thing to note about the motion blur is that it will make previewing your edit impossible. You'll still be able to scrub through, but if you click play, your computer just can't play it in real time. When you're done with your edit, you can just go to export. And I use the YouTube 4K and change the bit rate to whatever you had set in OBS. And then you can go ahead and hit export. Once that's done exporting, you should be left with some quality footage that beats most of what I see on YouTube. Thank you for watching. If you have any questions, I'll try to answer them in the comments.